Sunny Boy 48, what is up? Sorry, I am late. I'm like an hour late. Let a few of y'all jump on in. Uh, hopefully, all of you are having a great weekend. Um, for those that celebrate this special day with mothers and wives, I hope it's going well. Kevin Cunt, what's up, buddy? Found a couple good casts over the past few days, so stay tuned for a uh, peg hunting video to come later on tonight. Bruce Zolo, what's up? Found uh, some more premiums this morning as I went grocery shopping. Mark, what's up, buddy? Dotson Man Diecast in the house. Look at that, on his diecast. Finally, <laughs> been sweat checking for live notification. What's up, buddy? Big Charlie's Model, was it Big Charlie's Model Garage? What's up? Rudy Moons, Alex, what is up, my guy? Um, hopefully y'all had a great weekend uh, for those that are spending time with their spouses, uh, mothers who are still with them. I hope everything has been blessed for all of you. Um, yeah, there's going to be a peg hunting video coming up tonight, um, just over the past few days. Nothing crazy that I found. Um, I did find two more premiums. One of them I just use for a wheel donor. Um, it's the Audi. Not a huge fan of the Fast Wagon series. Um, they are all great. I do have the Skyline van, um, that one, which since Mark, you hooked me up with the X-Men version, you guys know I already had to pick up the red, white, and blue deco of it, um, just being the completionist. HW50, what is up? Um, and then I picked up another uh, Skyline HT 2000. Uh, if you guys don't remember, I gave mine to Kingnut in a trade for the Pagani Waira, uh, which looks really good. It's sitting over there in the case. Um, but I have two of these, and I'm only taking it for the wheels because I'm working on another custom. Uh, speaking of customs, I'm going to be going over my 55 Gaster um, that I did on the... Um, Gaslander or the Wasteland um, style 55. So I'll be going over that in a little bit. Alan Gall, what's up? Can't wait for those fast wagons in Australia. Yeah, definitely over there, but especially um, wagons and stuff like that are pretty hot. Um, I am a huge fan of wagons, um, but as far as the premium sets go, I know after a while these are all going to be peg warmers, so I'm not in a rush to get them as they're dropping there was like four full sets of these at my local fries um i gave the chevy nova panel to my buddy ivan um, in his package so i only have let's see this one i picked up probably about a month or so ago I had to pick this one up rapid what's up buddy i know he's all about the nissans and the Datsuns and all that stuff um, but yeah, this one is super fresh. I love this um, work on this wagon. But all the other ones really don't care too much of. The Volvos are super clean. The stance on that one is really nice. The 850 Estate, not a huge fan of that yellow. It's kind of like a washed out yellow. Um, but I think the only ones that are really cool are the Nova and the Skyline. And the Audi, of course, I just picked up for the wheels. So that should kind of show you how I feel about that one. <laughs> Uh, on it says show Aaron rapid the Volvo I don't have the Volvo but if you want to check it out right there he mentioned the Volvo yeah I love all those wagons but the classics are my favorites yeah exactly that's how I feel too um, I'm real big on old school bodies um, square body cars especially like the 80s 90s type of era um, even some 70s cars are just beautiful looking cars um, now, I'm not saying the Audi's ugly, but it's not a casting that I was really like, ooh, I need to get that one. Who doesn't love a turbo brick? Yeah, you're right. You know, there's like a lot of cool videos on those Volvos doing some crazy stuff on the, um, oh, what's that road out there in Germany? Hold on, let me hang this up real quick. 
The Autobahn. That's what it is, the Autobahn. Weston, what's up, buddy? There you go, Autobahn. Christy, welcome to the stream. Sorry I'm late. I was just trying to spend some movie time with the wife. Uh, daughter's asleep now. So my wife's getting some stuff together. And I told her I was going to come out here and do some uh, live streaming with you guys. Derek over at Honest says, and speaking of turbo bricks, the new Audi RS2 in H is fire. Oh, I bet, man. Um, I only found a few H case cars, which will be in the video I'm going to be posting later on tonight. Um, it was the only five on pegs. And of course, I did have all the other variations of them. So I had to pick them up so I could complete the variation list going. So uh, Christy says, it's okay. We're all late to things. Yeah, this I was looking at the time like, oh man, it's way past two o'clock, uh, especially here in Arizona. So I don't know what time it is where you're at, but uh, definitely wanted to spend time with the wife before I took this over. Take your family over doing all this stuff. Um, all this stuff can come later. Um, and a lot of you are very understanding when I am late or when other people that are streaming are late. So HW50, God bless your wife. My wife doesn't know I'm on this live <laughs> Um, you better have that one headphone in and act like you're uh, paying attention. But no, I appreciate you. Chrissy says she's in o she they are in Ohio and it's currently 6:16. Oh dang. Alan, it's 8 a.m. on Monday. So tell me about the future. What does my Monday look like since you're a whole day ahead? <laughs> Andre Cruz, every time I watch Rapid, I talk in Peppa Pig. <laughs> That's so jacked up. <laughs> Talks like Peppa Pig. George! I don't mean Is that this? I guess it's the same country. <laughs> so, oh, that's so jacked up, but funny at the same time. <laughs> oh, you guys kill me, but I love it. Eddie, what's up? But I'm in your face. Like Mark would say. Eddie from Simple Customs, my man. Amazing Cars 13, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. I know I usually post it as cars and coffee, but uh, I'm kind of in a show prep for my next bodybuilding show, so got to be drinking my two gallons a day. <laughs> Aaron says, what did you say? I hope everyone um, did something special for their wives or mothers. Hope you all made a bunch of meatloaf. Oh man, it's hot in here, man. I have my AC going, but it's taking a while. Bruce Dolo, what's up, buddy? Gotta stay hydrated, my man. Yeah, that is 100%. Um, when I get into show prep, like serious show prep, man, I'm like too two and a half gallons of water a day made some banana pancakes for the wife man look at you I went all the way to Cracker Barrel to get my wife some breakfast and then I came home and meal prepped my own food uh, amazing cars is sending someone something by the way operation hydration <laughs> Cody says he hasn't gotten uh, their H case cars yet at Kroger's and I'm waiting for them. Yeah, I'm definitely waiting on those new exclusives like the GTR in black um, and a bunch of other ones that look super good. So I can't wait to have that. I think the Erickenstein rod is one of them. Not much, ugh, if I'm not mistaken. Amazing car says, I'm sending you something by the way, Mustang Hunter. Oh, I appreciate you, man. You definitely don't have to do that, but I always appreciate you. When in Rome says honest. <laughs> so anybody else besides uh, Derek over there score anything hot? I know my man's always scoring that crazy, it's crazy hauls. Black Cat 209, what's up, man? Welcome. Yeah, no H case. Yeah, like like over here, man. I've only found five H case cars. They're all cool variations. Only one of them was like, oh, I need that one. Um, or wanted that one, so I picked it up. But like I said, y'all you all guys will uh, stay tuned for that peg hunting video tonight. It's really been nothing around here. Um, I know a couple people were saying that they wanted to see more peg hunts, but if I did 
actual peg hunting every day, y'all would be extremely disappointed because there's nothing around here. Um, like I said, this morning was the only thing that was new was getting another one of these in my collection since I uh, traded mine away to King Nut. So what did you guys think of those uh, last couple mail calls? They were just insane, guys. The You know, the fact of people sending me stuff like that is amazing, but when they take the time to send me some customs like that, or a box of, I think it was like 50 loose cars, definitely, uh, I don't know, it's definitely overwhelming, but I appreciate every single piece of that. Uh, H-Dub says, yep, peg hunting on our channel would be boring too, yeah. I mean, I guess I can just film me walk in the store and walk back out and keep doing that every day until I score at least one. But uh, I know my videos have been super long lately and I apologize, but um, I definitely didn't want to split up the mail calls like that. Especially that first one was very long. It was like I was filming, holding my phone for like 55 minutes. Um, and I was able to edit it down to, I think it was 38 minutes, so it was very long. And then yesterday's, I uploaded, I think it was like at 10 in the morning, and it didn't post until like 7 at night. I don't know what was up as yesterday. It was like a, the same amount of time length of a video, and it just was not uploading for some reason. Dotson says, sorry, not sorry on the tape and bubble wrap. You know, I definitely had to take out like a whole minute of just me peeling off the tape and then I started thinking, you know what, let me not do that and just speed up the time to like eight times the speed and it was still way too long so I had to like chop that again but um, you packaged that very well my friend, very well, though. that set is insane. Yeah, I couldn't have the box set damaged. Yeah, I agree. When I seen it said, do not smash, and the box was kind of like smashed in a little bit, I was like, oh, man, I hope it's not damaged. But it was, and it came in in perfect condition. So, Mark, I appreciate you. Uh, I sent out two packages, one to the customizer, and the other one was, can't remember, Old Man Diecast. And those were like, it took one day. They gave me like a three-day or four-day um, time of arrival. And then I seen the customizer upload his video and I was like, geez, already? Like I sent it out like 12 hours ago and it got to him already. So I think the post office is actually getting back to efficiency like they were. Jay's diecast creation, what is up, buddy? All right, so there's 27 people in here. I was gonna make a video on this, which I probably will do eventually, but um, if you guys haven't seen or if you remembered seeing me post this, uh, 55 custom I did this is the beauty right here check this out guys this was a lot of fun doing all the body work like that now a lot of you commented that you loved the back window idea this is Jay's diecast creations idea I seen it on his Celica he did and I was like man that is freaking clever um, and he told me it's just window screen like for the house windows just took a little piece. I have a stack of screens. Um, took a small piece. As you can see, I did add the weathering to the entire car. Um, underneath is all dusty. Got the road dirt and grime. Um, I have the interior done as well. It's got the sun faded leather. Everything on this car was super fun to do, guys. Um, if you're wondering how I made the exhaust manifolds, their individual headers. Um, those are nail staples to a staple gun. Um, they're just straight nails that you would just use to like tack on stuff. But I took them off individually and I mounted them to each side. It's kind of hard to focus, but I mounted them to each side and then added all the rust effects, the powdering. All those techniques that I used on this car of the rusted powdered look, um, the rust and dust as J JDC calls it, I learned from his channel and his video on the rust and dust. You need to check it out, man. Super solid tips. Um, and I think it came out really good, especially my first type of car like this. Um, when I took this to work, everyone was just in shock of how I was able to transform the car that you guys remember seeing in bright school bus yellow into this. Static Crispy, what is up, buddy? Um, but yeah, they were just in shock of 
how well this came out, and so was I. Um, I kept the same wheels. I didn't want to go premiums because I wanted it to be just completely ugly and destroyed. Uh, I was going to put Crazy Taxi on the side and have some like um, hashtag hash marks like the counting when you ha count like one, two, three, four, and then five. I was going to have that going along the side like it was victims or whatever. But um, I added some subtle taillights just so they can have some sun faded look to it. Um, and then, of course, you have the um, road racing or rally style X's on the headlights to kind of prevent the glass from shattering. But I just wanted it to tie into the look. So um, there was a couple of people that said the motor was just way too huge, but I wanted it like that. I wanted it to be over the top, just crazy. Um, so I ended up taking this motor out of the, I think it's the little Jeep drag truck or whatever. It's like a really long extended front end and it's got the motor sitting there. Um, and I just chopped it out and JB welded it to the actual casting of this. So when you take the body off, the motor and everything is attached to the metal casting, so it's all one solid piece. Um, but I'm definitely going to do more of these, and I'm not going to just limit it to 55 gassers or old Chevy square bodies or anything like that. I want to do all kinds. I might do a Porsche, which I'm in the works of doing a custom Porsche 935. It might look like this, it might not. Um, but since I learned really cool techniques from watching JDC's video, you're going to see a lot more of these. So. Uh, I've been kind of carrying this around in this little protective pack. I had to cut a hole in the top just so the blower can stick out of it. Um, but yeah, definitely had fun with that one. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that pink Twin Mill 3. That one I'm building to compete against uh, my buddy Brandon's Twin Mill on his channel over at Liver Diecast. Or as Mark would say, Liver Diecast. MSP Customs, you doing more gas lamp builds? Yep. I'm gonna try to do more of this style, but like I'm saying, I'm not gonna just limit it to gassers or uh, any old square body cars. I'm gonna do some modern builds too. Uh, JDC says he's gonna have a more in-depth one coming for me, or coming for us, I should say. So definitely stay tuned for that. That video was amazing. That Celica is the reason why I did this. So JDC, I appreciate you, man. You inspired me to build that um, and just opened up Pandora's box of ideas of what I want to do. So um, when you start seeing more of these gas landers, it's all because of JDC. So definitely go check out his channel, show him support. Um, for those that are participating in his Ferrari build off, um, I'm excited to see what you guys have. There's some amazing creators out there, um, customizers and all that. So I cannot wait to see what you guys have done. I think it's just going to be amazing uh, to see all those Ferraris. <laughs> Anna says, the kidney die cast. <laughs> Dotson Man's working on a Ferrari now. Nice. Uh, Alan Gall, uh, he's asking if I have the purple 67 coupe, number 192. Uh, let's see. The only, no, the only 67 coupe that I have that's semi-purple is this one. But this is from the Ford's uh, Racing Performance Series. It's the only 67 coupe. It's a blue. I don't have a purple one. Um, I have a lot of coupes, a lot of 65 coupes, but no 67 coupes other than this one and a couple of other colors. Oh, let's see. Found it this week, G or H case. Nice. I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have that one. Not even loose. I have the 67 Shelby. It's an exclusive nine pack. Rare Dodson, what's up, buddy? You need to restore the 300 ZX. Yeah, I actually have it. Uh, where is it? It's sitting over here, actually. Um, I'm trying to find some regular silver five spokes because I want it to look exactly how it used to be released. 
Um, and if it doesn't look good, then I might do some premium wheels on it, but it's definitely in the works. It's sitting over there with a couple other customs I'm working on. Only a person with 500 stangs can show off a car like that and it's no biggie. <laughs> I do have a lot of Mustangs. I do get, I, I think it's funny because I get a lot of uh, DMs on Instagram asking like, hey, do you have these? And they'll send me like 10 or 11 different Mustangs and I'm like, uh, I got all those. Very rarely will you send me a picture of something that I'm like, dang, I don't have. Safari Ferrari, hey, that's kind of cool. Who's doing a Safari Ferrari? Uh, Matchbox Mustangs has silver fives. Um, yeah. Static Crispy says, friendly reminder, I think Dollar Tree is dropping G-Case. Saw some G-Case at my local Dollar Tree. Nice, man. Love the heads up. Definitely got to go check out mine now. JDC says, thanks for all the Ferrari love, guys. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Like I said in my last video, just because you aren't Mustang hunters or you're not a fan of Mustangs, maybe you are, maybe you're not, um, everybody who is a part of this community is a part of the MHD family. So we all got you, buddy. Just like Static just said, got you, buddy. Now, the thing I thought was super crazy um, in that package I got from Rare Dotson, where is it at? This Volkswagen split hair right here. I think it's a really cool little hatch. Really fun looking. And the thing I think is really sweet is this opening hood is plastic and it actually latches. Got the little hood latch right there if you can see it. Um, the motor, engine bay, and everything is still pure white, so it's always been closed. Um, now this one, I'm not sure if it had the red roof rack or the orange roof rack. There was two variations of this one. One with the red, one with the orange. The one with the orange is from 1979. The one with the red is from 82, I believe. Um, so I'm really hoping this is the older one because then that means that this thing is 42 years old. Think about that, guys. 42 years old and this thing is still just I mean there's barely any rust on it I don't know where it was kept probably in a kid's toy box or something but this thing is sweet a lot of people want me to restore this but I don't want to I want to keep it just like this because I just think look at the character like what has this car been through you know like was it some troublemaker kid that kept it in his pocket as he was at school picking on other kids or was it just a car that was just in some toddler's room, you know? Like you never know the story of who held this car and did all that. And you can see just the natural wear of it. And I think that's super cool like that. So uh, when it comes to older casts, I'm very hesitant on restoring something like this, especially with a plastic hood. Um, Cause that can go south real quick. If you get some nail polish remover or some stripper on this plastic hood, you can melt it, you can destroy it and you ain't gonna find a hood like that. So, Rapid says, shut it Bruce, that's a bonnet on a VW Golf. England rules, <laughs> England rules. <laughs> it's a hood, we call it a hood. <laughs> if someone gave you $10,000 to buy all your Hot Wheels, will you take the money? No, unless it was like somebody needed $10,000 in my family or else they were gonna get killed or something, then yeah, but I don't have this collection for the value of it. Now, if I pass away and my daughter decides to take over this and then she can't pass up the money, then, I mean, that's her decision. But me personally, no, this is priceless. This took, I've been collecting since 2010, probably a couple years before that with like a couple here and there, but that's 11 years of just collecting off and on. Um, didn't get this crazy until last year. So yeah. A lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of excitement, because you guys watch my unboxings. I get excited when I get a bunch of the cast that you guys send me. So yeah, these are priceless to me. Uh, Rapid says, old Queenie will live long and fulfilled life. <laughs> it's a bonnet. It's not a bonnet. It's a hood. 
let's see what other what other Tom what's up buddy welcome to the stream we're just, just we're just having a debate of this nice black hood on this split hair Volkswagen <laughs> it's a hood not a bonnet Favorite Mustang, um, in collection-wise or just overall in general? Uh, if you're talking about overall, like real Mustang, oh man, that's a tough one because I like the 67, 68 Fastbacks. But in castings, uh, the 65 Coupes, 100%. That's <laughs> a Nissan GDR. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> I bet he's got 100K in that collection. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. You guys kill me. Christy says just drop the damn thing about the hood. I agree. We drop. We drop it. Alright. Um, back to it, guys. Alright, so I don't know if y'all have ever collected or remembered, but. Um, in that unboxing, you guys remember this Super Tsunami. This thing is freaking sweet, man. I love this gold. And this has a lot of amazing potential to have a nice Rocket Bunny kit, even a Liberty Walk kit. And I mean, chug, chug, chug water. <laughs> but yeah, so when I got these two in that package, look at that. These things are super clean. Which one do you guys like better? I like the the setup of the burnt orange one, but the yellow one just looks super import magazine, looking clean. Mad Visions, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Especially that wing. Yeah, look at that. Got that chassis mounted wing right there. Very similar to how the Rocket Bunny wings are now. And it's funny, they used to make fun of cars like this back in the early 2000s. Like, look at that AutoZone special. But now, these things are looking hella fresh. So are you saying you're going to customize it? No, only because those are the third variations that I have. And those are titled, those are listed as Super Tsunamis, whereas the other one is the Power, Pro Power, or I can't remember what it is. It's over there, though. <laughs> Freaking Mark. Looks like a cover car from Hot Import Nights, definitely. And if you want to talk about Hot Import Nights, this treasure hunt right here looks super Import Nights right there. I love that little show me hood where you can see the engine. And that chrome interior is super gaudy, but it's still a really nice casting. I love this one. I tried to look. At, I looked it up on Fandom to see. Um, the one with real riders, if it's a super or considered a super, but um, there's only this variation of it. There's no uh, treasure hunt, super treasure. There's just this one, which is considered a treasure hunt. But um, I think of 2007 standards, I think this is technically a super, but I'm still not 100% sure. So all you supers and treasure hunt experts out there, let me know. Clone Republic, I just picked up the Gumball 3004 GT40. Nice. Which color variation in white? I think, it, I think it's the latest one in white. Or the Zamac. Uh, that's, a, that's what a lot of us wanted our cars to look like back in the day. 100%. Like I said, guys, I used to buy this specific Ford Focus specifically for this wing. Because I would get a razor blade, I would cut it off leveled, and then I would super glue this. On the back of, I think I had a couple of trucks and um, the Lexus, uh, what was it, the Lexus IS, the old Lexus bodies. I'd super glue them on there all day. Um, Andre Cruz, anyone making custom decals? Um, I'm trying to work up uh, reprinting shirts again. Probably some Hot Wheel style shirts, maybe like some don't follow me on peg hunting type shirts or something like that because I got my shirt machine back here on the ground um, and I got the cricket to do all the shirts um, but thinking of doing that Sue Johnson have you found the super treasure hunt Mustang for 2021 oh man I didn't 
find it, but my buddy Nate hooked it up for me. He sent this in his last package to me, and this thing is beautiful in gold. You guys know I love the GT500s, and this was the most anticipated one for me. Um, I know a lot of other people really want this one as well, just because this looks like a true super. The gold Spectre Flame just looks amazing. So I didn't find it, unfortunately, but at the same time, I'm glad I was able to get it um, from a good buddy. Booyah! Um, Bruce, Bruce says, I wish, Andre, uh, I need some white background decals made. Yeah, like a normal decal. Yeah, I'm looking online to see what's the cheapest because I don't want to pay too much money. Um, but I definitely want to send the I'm the Mustang Hunter, the one that's on the beginning of my videos now and on my channel. Um, I want to make decals of that and send them out when I do packages. Christy says, ask question. Jason starts looking around. <laughs> yep. Got to stay on top of it. It's like my water over here. Honest is spraying some clear coat. Probably another Porsche. Hey, Mustang Hunter, that 2002 Honda Civic Si from your last video is a EP3, like a chassis code. Inner Honda boy knows all about the Hondas. Uh, which one? You talking about this black one right here? This all black one or where's the other one? Or the little SI hatch. Which one? What up Mr. Shelby man? Peace. What's up Hector's? Hector's auto body. Have you found H case yet? Uh, yeah, I only found five cars though. Um, and I'm going to be posting that peg hunting video tonight. Unfortunately, the cars that I found for H case is not even in the peg hunting video. It was all found off camera. Um, but I picked up a couple things here and there, so you'll see that tonight. Rare Dotson, you still need the red Shelby GT350, huh? Yeah, I do. I don't have the red GT350. Uh, what's your favorite real life Mustang? Uh, like I said earlier, 67, 68 Fastback. But if I'm going to be realistic, um, I definitely want to get a 2003-2004 Cobra Terminator in Mystichrome, in Mystichrome paint. That's, that's the one I want. They should make a Honda Civic Si Super. I agree. I think that'd be super clean. I mean, you got the CRX, which is kind of the hatchback Civic, I guess, but it's not the same. They didn't... They could have done better with the paint choice, but it is what it is. Um, Roush, yeah. I would like a 2001, 2002 Stage 3 Roush. Or even a, the Celine Roushes. Those are pretty rare. Or the Celine Cobras. Those are super rare. There was a girl that had one back home. Um, it was a 2003 Cobra Celine, which is super rare. Um, there's not that many of those. And it was convertible. Taki's Car Addiction, would you rather have a 2000 Mustang SVT Cobra R or the 93 Cobra R? Ooh. Um, I'd go with the 2000 Cobra R mainly because that is purely a race car. There's no radio, no AC, no power steering. I don't even think it has a passenger seat. Um, and it is just strictly race inspired that's all it is um, I love the red um, I love the the style of it I love the wing even though a lot of people don't like that wing I love the the look of it everything on that car is just built for performance I think it's got the 5.4 in it um, the 93 Cobra is clean uh, but the 2000 SVT Cobra is just one of those rarities because you see co uh, 93 Cobras you don't see any Cobra R's running around but I think definitely I would choose the 2000. CRX is basically an EF Civic, so technically it's a Civic. Yeah, I know, what was it, like 78, 79? It went from a Civic, and then they they split it to like CRX or something like that. Do you have the 2000 to 2010 something Boss 302? Um, I got a lot of Boss 302s. Let me see. Um... 
Let's see. I got. Can't even find them now. They're in freaking year release order, and I can't even find the bosses. Anyways, I got the Johnny Lightning boss, Saguna, Laguna Seikas, um, and a couple other 2010. I think they're 2012s, actually. I'm back. We can continue, says Honest. <laughs> uh, Rapid, would you rather the E35 M3 GTR or a RC, was it? Oh, EcoBoost Mustang. Um, I'd go with the M3 GTR. The EcoBoost Mustangs are not bad. Uh, they built a couple on AmericanMuscle.com when they first were released for the EcoBoost and they were pushing like five, 600 horsepower. Um, I don't know. I'm still not sold on the EcoBoost mainly because I just grew up in the era of V8s and blown supercharged V8s and all that. So I'm still a little on the fence on the EcoBoost even though I know they're pretty good performance. Uh, Black Cat 209, yeah, the 71's your favorite. I remember that from last week's uh, live stream. Uh, Taki says they digs the wing of the Cobra R, but not a fan of the front bumper. I actually like that front bumper. When I had my 2004 Mach 1, I actually bought an 03 Cobra bumper, but I really wanted the 99 Cobra front bumper. Uh, saw a Mach E at Target the other day. I actually liked it a lot. Huh. Haven't seen one yet. Um, I know a buddy of mine that I work with took a picture of one that was on base. Probably like two, three weeks ago. It was in white. Um, but I haven't seen one in person yet. Honest die count, honest die cast. Lots. I found some new Hot Wheels and Matchbox toy cars. All right. Sunny boy, twin turbos, tur <laughs> twin turb skis or supercharger. Um, I used to be all about the root style superchargers, mainly because of the instant power. Like as soon as you give it gas, it's RPM driven. Um, but you get a lot of crazy power out of some twin turbos, man. So twin turbos all the way, but the sound of a supercharger just sounds like a freaking fighter jet. I love it. Um, Diecast Tube saw a Mercedes SLS AMG in the parking lot. Nice. Where can the new gen Mustang go from here? Um, I really hope it's not going to go in the direction like Mitsubishi did with the Lancer um, or... What was another one that they went straight to an SUV? Oh, there was another car. Can't remember what it was, but if they go in the direction of, all right, guys, let's keep the coupes. Let's start phasing out the V8s. Let's bring the EcoBoosts in. Let's start phasing those out. Let's bring the SUVs in, and then they start making the SUVs more appealing. I don't know. I guess next thing you're going to see is station wagon Mustangs. Static Crispy says, all right, Jason, you as the Mustang Hunter, what are your thoughts and are you getting the new ROC Cobra R? I want that thing so bad. The last thing I was, I think it was like a few videos ago, I was literally mentioning that, that Hot Wheels needs to make a 93 Cobra because Matchbox or Maisto has done the 93 Cobra um, and Mattel never did, at least not that I know of. They always got stuck on the 92s, the 88s, the 79s. They never did a 93, and I was like, they need to do one. And of course, when they do one, it's red Cobra R. That's two things, the red Cobra R, and it's a 93 Fox. And I'm not an ROC member, so am I going to get it? Probably not. Will I trade something for it? I'll give a lot of stuff for that Cobra R. Um, Diecast Tube also saw two Lamborghini Urises. I've seen one. I've only seen one. Actually, two. I lied. One was at Fry's. It was all matte black and vinyl wrapped. And the other one was on the highway passing me. And it was that bright yellow. Those things are wicked cool. Uh, Mad Visions 1K or 2K clear coat. I think Honest uses 2K. I've used 2K before. It's a beautiful finish. It comes out like glass. It's the same stuff they use on actual cars. Um, Teeny Young has over 4,000 Hot Wheels. Jesus. 
I'm over here with the measly like 1500 and I think this is like a huge collection. And I'm trying to catch up to all these freaking comments. Frank, what's up, buddy? I didn't, I'm trying to catch up. There's a lot of people in this stream, so I definitely appreciate all of you. Uh, JDC says, someone will send you that car, no doubt. <laughs> I'm not going to hold my breath. That is something like I appreciate, and I was really stoked when Ivan sent me that RLC Mustang, but I never expect it. So if you guys think I'm sitting here patiently waiting for one of you to just surprise me, I'm not. Um, but if the offer comes up of, hey, I have an RLC 93, what do you got? Oh, I'm trading some good stuff for that thing. Uh, two new ID cars coming out, a Porsche ID in gold and a Mustang. <laughs> and you know I'm going to pick up both, but in the reverse order. I'm getting the Mustang and then the Porsche. Christy, do you like the new Mach-E and have you seen the new 2020 GT500? Um, yeah, there's actually two airmen that have the 2020 GT500 on base. Um, one has the carbon fiber package, which he paid 109k for, which is ridiculous. He pays like 13, 1400 dollars a month to drive it. Um, but the Mach E, I'm just maybe it'll grow on me because I felt the same way with the new S550s when the 2015s came out. I was like, those things are hideous. But they definitely grew on me. Now, has any of you checked out the Mach-E 1400 that was built? That thing is insane. That's the way it should come out. Tom Brown, only 10 bucks to join RLC. Yeah, but the, the odds of me getting that RLC Cobra is probably slim to none. They'll see Mustang Hunter as my title and be like, <laughs> let's skip over him. Let's make him salty. Rodney, what's up, buddy? Says he loves my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Diecast Tube hates the Mach E. Yes, I am on board with you. They should have never called it a Mustang. They should have just left it a Mach E. The Cobra R is going to be made to order. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't know that. I saw it was like 48 hours or something like that. Have I ever seen a Shelby 1000? Uh, not in person, but I've watched a lot of videos on that thing, and it is a beast. All right, so a few of y'all are telling me that now they're all made to order. That is awesome. So hopefully, that'd be awesome. That'd be sweet. If if it is 100% like built to order, and I'm going to be guaranteed one, I will finish this stream in a little while, and then get my RLC. And then I'll probably cancel it after that. I don't know. I just want that Cobra R. I'm with that 110%. Oh, dang, says Andre Cruz. <laughs> uh. Static Crispy. Man, all y'all are dropping that RLC knowledge on me. Yeah, I didn't know it was um, built to order type of thing. Yeah, that's good. I, I heard that in your live stream, um, trying to stop the RLC scalping, which they need to because that gets ridiculous. That's why, like, that's one of the things I didn't want to be an RLC member is because I see all the frustration of people like, how is it sold out? I literally just clicked in and it sold out, and I, I wouldn't want to be a part of that frustration. I'm over here perfectly fine getting my old 1990s blue cards and finding loose cars and all that stuff. Still here, <laughs> that's a man over here lurking. I wish I can just throw up graphics like I'm in your face. Customizer, what's up, homie? I'm glad you're able to get your package, but I'm kind of bummed that you had most of everything. <laughs> I guess I should have messaged you like, hey, do you have all this? But I kind of wanted to surprise you. Um, but I figured you'd want to do some customs on it, especially the Lamborghini. Thought you would like that one to do a little custom with. Saw a Lexus LFA. I've never seen one in person, but I know they're pretty sweet. Scalpers can cop. <laughs> I'm not even gonna read that. 
Uh, you're supposed to say kick rocks, but I, I got you. I got you. I almost, I almost read that out loud there. <laughs> I machined the Roush name insert on the rear bumper. Oh, nice. Kick! He says kick rocks! Honest says they love calling true collectors crybabies, but watch them this time. I know. I see in the comments all the time, like, um, people are like, here here goes all the crybaby collectors. Like, why y'all got to say that? Like, why do you have to spend five seconds of your life to just throw out that negativity and just comment it? You know, like, what's the point? Yeah. I see it on the Facebook posts all the time. Thinking about doing a custom on this one. So random, I know. I just looked at it and I was just thinking, what do you guys think? Should I even waste time doing this custom? It's the old uh, GTS, Dodge Viper, GTS-R. I think the scales of it is just very unproportioned. I mean, look at it. It looks like a rectangle. You could be making pizza in that time. <laughs> Go for it, says Static. It's a nice color, but look at that. It looks nothing like a Viper. The windows, you could probably stick your fingers out of that window, but I've never seen a Viper with a 20 foot tall door and a 30 foot length vehicle. It, it, it's so unproportioned, but the, I don't know. Thinking about doing this as a custom. Um, I really wanted to do where is it? I don't even think I have it up here. Um, this one right here. The Eclipse little spider. This one's really sweet. And I think with the hood extractor, the heat extractors right there on the hood and just the body lines, that this can be a really nice custom right here. Put some nice wheels on there. Nice paint job. Maybe purple with some giant chrome wheels to look like <laughs> Tyrese's on Too Fast, Too Furious. Rare Dodge says, grossies. <laughs> I do want to do a custom on that one, though. Do you have the new Veal Side RX-7 Color Shifter Hot Wheel? I do not. That thing is pretty sweet. I've passed it up a couple times, actually. Um, there I go, looking around. I'm, I'm looking around because I have, when you say, like, color shifters, I'm like, my color shifters are right there. So I just look, just make sure I don't have it. Gary Slint's shelf flipping with Nas was crazy. I bet I tried. I tried doing it, and like the manager walked by as I was doing it. And I just like set it down. Danger to the manifold. Shut up! If you ever watched uh, on YouTube the guy that actually built the cars and actually was the one behind it, watch his videos on that. He he had his his take on what the parts list should have been and what the movie decided it should be, um, and that scene the danger to manifold he thought it was the dumbest thing ever but they wanted it to be cinematic and have a way of knowing that there was some engine problem it, it was a whole ordeal but you should definitely check out his videos i can't remember what it's called did a sick wheel swap on the new bronco nice Static says, looks like Mattel said, all right, all right, let's do a Viper. Random employee, nah, let's make it a tuned Mattel. All right, great idea. Let's make it tuned, only, but only half of it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they did with that Viper. That thing is just, I don't know. It was, it's an older one, older Matchbox, and I was like, oh, let me buy that. And then when I looked at it, I was like, this thing is kind of ugly. So I opened it up. So dumb. How do you know blow welds on a cast manifold, right? Just like the floorboard that falls off. How did Vin Diesel sit in the car the rest of the time? <laughs> Especially with that little hill jump they did. Vin Diesel would have just fallen right out the bottom. It's funny though. Funny cinematics. Or at least they thought. I stopped watching past Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift was the last decent one. I watched all of them. Um, I'm a big fan of just cars and the... 
I like the I like finding those moments where it's like, come on, guys, like really, but they're entertaining. Of course, the accuracy and racing is way off. Um, Frank says, what about the Factory 500 Viper? I actually like that one a lot. Let me bring it out. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this one, this one is very nice. Look at that. I love the red. And I love the Y5s that they put on there because they're very similar to the SRT wheels. So I definitely do like this one. Yeah, that thing is sweet. No Volvo, no care, Rapid. <laughs> Rare Dotson, you go from JDM, JDM AF Tuner Cult to World War Three. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I don't know where they went from hijacking 18 wheelers to freaking Mission Impossible. And I don't know where Letty learned to fight like damn Bruce Lee, but she fights apparently. Rabbit says Monday feels good. Monday never feels good. Monday feels good now until you start growing up in life and then it's like, ah, oh, Monday. Viper is the favorite out of all of them. Uh, I can kind of agree. Uh, the Porsche GT3 is definitely top three, but the GT500, or actually the GT350, the GT500 is okay. Uh, I'm not a fan of the red and blue setup, but it does all right. But the GT3, all those. Rebecca, what's up? Welcome to the stream. I'm doing all right. Hopefully everything on your end is good. Cadillac looks good. Yeah, I think all of the factory 500s look great, except for the McLaren. Um, I actually had to go back and really force myself to buy it just so I can complete the set, but um, I think they all look really good. Now they're just heavy peg warmers. Bruce asks, how many mo Matchbox Mustangs do I have roughly? Um, I can count I'd say about 25 of them, 25, 30 Matchbox Mustangs. I did like three custom Vipers, black and two gold, nice. CTSV was your favorite, that's Taki's car. Um, glad they brought it back, yeah, for sure. I painted the Caddy red like my ride, nice. Yeah, MSP, they are heavy peg warmers here. Those, at first they weren't, like you would see it on the pegs and then they'd be gone and then now, you go to King Nuts Walmart and literally a whole wall is just full of factory 500s. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy how they were so scarce and now they're just in abundance. That's why uh, even Honest will say, just be patient, they will come. Um, but a lot of us, I'm guilty of it, wanna get it as soon as it drops, um, mainly so I can just showcase to you guys like, hey look, it's in our area. Um, and plus it's exciting because it's fresh. But if you're just patient, they'll eventually get there. Honest said, must have found 50 plus in Oklahoma and Texas. Yeah, they're they're just crazy. Brian, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, the GT3Rs or the uh, GT3RSs, those are very hard to find. I have two of them, I think. Two or three of them. I think I have three because um, I want to do some customs on it. But I ended up picking up some more Tanner Fox Porsche GT3s because I really like that variation. <laughs> Derek B. Rolling Cole and his Lexus. <laughs> King Nut, what's up, buddy? Were your ears ringing? Because I was literally just talking about you. I was talking about your Walmart, actually. I wonder if there's a rubber tire that's supposed to be on this. Sorry, I'm looking at this uh, little premium off-road Tacoma over here. Um, and I was looking on the back for this little spare tire. It looks like there's supposed to be a rubber tire that's supposed to be on there. But I'm not sure. I got to look on the 
stock photos of this thing and see is there supposed to be a spare rubber tire if not I'm gonna put one on there because it looks like it would fit right over that rim this is a sweet casting though yeah keynut welcome to the stream welcome welcome as always guess I could take the wheels off of this bad boy a little Jeep uh, what is it Wagoneer Keep forgetting this one. I hunt Hot Wheels. They call me Ben, we ben Weasel. <laughs> it's a run flat. Probably is, but I think it'd be really cool if I can just squeeze a rubber tire on there. <laughs> that cast looks amazing. Wish they made more trucks like that these days. Yeah, 100%. When I seen this on the hood, it says um, HotWheelsCollectors.com. So I thought it was like a collector truck. Um, from you know like Walmart had those for a while you just rack up points so you can get uh, hotwheels.com cars and all that so I thought that's what it was but when I looked on fandom it wasn't like that so but I love this casting this is super sweet and funny thing was I was literally that same day a uh, co-worker of mine's like hey do you have any Tacomas and I was like no the only Tacoma I have is those off-road trucks and we were looking on Google and I seen that one and then when I opened up the package there it was. That and the Tundra we were we were looking at too. This one. This one's really tough. All right, Clone. He says I'm about to head out. Peace. He says peace to everybody. So yeah, be safe. I appreciate you tuning in. Static says, hey, oh shoot, freaking comments. He says, hey Jason, you still have any black CRXs? I was going to DM you from the last live stream, but ended up getting busy. Um, the last one I actually traded away. Um, when I told you that it was probably on the fence, um, I traded away for another casting, which is going to be in my upload tonight. So just stay tuned for that. Um, it was a one-for-one -one swap. So no. Uh, and then the other black CRX I'm still sending to Liver Diecast. I'm just waiting to get his custom together, and then I'm going to send that off. Um, but I can always find you one, man. Just let me know. Ana says he picked up the Falcon Truck Super in Oklahoma at a flea market. Nice. That thing is really nice. I love the Falcon livery setup. Colors are always on point. This was another one of my favorites from that unbox. This rig is just insanely cool looking. Look at that. Those wheels and the yellow, everything on this just ties up so nice. Try to get it to focus. Don't focus on me, focus on that. There we go. Look at that. I think it's super tough. Yeah, definitely a nice rig. This thing is huge. It's funny because uh, my cargo pockets in my military uniform are large enough to carry this. And uh, I got pocket checked. And yeah, sure enough, carried that big boy in my pocket. <laughs> that grenade. <laughs> It's huge, man. I mean, if you think about, like, if you're carrying, let's say you're carrying the NSX in your pocket, and then you, like, pull this big boy out. Look at that. It's huge. Huge. <laughs> Ana says, look at Jason shielding that heat from his face. <laughs> yeah, it's like, ah, look at that. Yeah, this thing is huge, man. It's got some weight to it for sure. <laughs> All right, guys. So since I'm going to be taking the wheels off this, I'm going to actually open this up. That way I don't have to do it later. And we can get a better look at it out of the package of the Audi. Look at that. Let's cover it up. There we go. Not a bad premium. It's... It's all right. Now, don't get me wrong. If I saw this on the road, it'd be a different thing. I would definitely like to look at it. But as far as it being a cast casting like this, it's okay. I just wanted the wheels. Do you have a scale to weigh stuff? I do. Because um, I measure all my food. I weigh out all my food when I'm in show prep. So I do have that scale. I can measure it out in grams and do all that. How many bone shakers do I have, asks Wayne. So I have five in front of me, which are loose, 
and five, six, so maybe 11 bone shakers. Static says, imagine if you get pulled over and they ask, uh, sir, what do you have in your pockets? And just like, okay, I'll confess it's a Hot Wheels semi truck. <laughs> For real, man, they'd probably be like, how many uh, magazines are you carrying in your pocket? He's got a weapon! Be like, it's not a weapon, sir. Pocket check! And then watch him pull out a another rig or something. Or he pulls out a super a super that I need. <laughs> Kina says you had 11 bone shakers. <laughs> yeah. King Nut got them sticky fingers. I seen him come in here the other day with sticky fingers like, all right, what, what am I going to get today? <laughs> He didn't read Rebecca's caddy comment again, which, all right, let me go back. Let me go back. What did I miss, Rapid? Oh, okay. Rebecca says, is it okay if I send a black caddy loose or no? Yes, Rebecca, that is perfectly fine. Sorry. Um, just got caught, caught up in comments. <laughs> I'm fine with getting cars loose. It's me making the cars loose that's hard. I can't get myself to release a lot of them, unless it's like this, where I'm gonna take the wheels anyways. Um, but if people send me loose cars, I'm all for it. I like looking at them. Um, and it took the pain, it, I didn't have to experience the pain of opening it, so I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. Eddie says, I think King Nut is eyeing your bone shakers. Oh, he 100% is. And I know he's really looking at trying to get this little one, too. Little bitty bone shaker. Little world's smallest bone shaker. Sammy, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Cops probably would be waiting. Wait, co cops probably would look. Wait, don't have weapons. Nah, man, just Hot Wheels semi-trucks. <laughs> Joshua Hager, sending a Porsche you most likely don't have to the Mustang Hunter for you, King Nut. All right, nice, nice. I don't know, King Nut did get a huge package of some Porsches that were pretty hard to come by. The camera zooms out when he's drinking waters. <laughs> Let's see, does it? Mmm. Nice. The whole beef with Diecast Kid and Drifter D. Oh yeah, that that's insane. It's like my video hit a million. How come yours didn't? Or whichever it was. Yeah, that's it's it's crazy. Do you have the Digicam 2010 Shelby? Yes, I do. I have two of them, actually. Um, one I actually opened up and one I still have in my, my lineup. I'm with you. All 300 of my collection are still carded. Can't bring myself to open them. Yeah, I can't. I can't open them. I've thought about it, and I teased it with a community post saying, Hey, guys, I opened up all my cars. What now? Um, but, yeah, I can't. I can't open the Mustangs for sure. Customized it. Is they really beefing though? It are they? Are they really? Or are they just trying to trying to uh, catch that clout? <laughs> Especially off that one million video. Their content is good. Just uh, just attitude sucks. If you get me, yeah. <laughs> Rare Dotson. That's funny. It's definitely easier to open basics and premiums and my only ROC car I opened um, was the 64 Impala oh I wouldn't open that one man but that's just me that's just me I love the 64 that ROC was killer just found two Guster 55 gassers finally nice congrats I know those are running away from a lot of people Superbird asked how everyone doing. What's up, Superbird? James, I got 116 supers and 121 treasure hunts. Can't open one. No, I yeah, I feel you. I have all my I have even some fantasy treasure hunts how to even open. 
Rapid says, hey Mustang, your unboxing got 570, 567 views and mine only got 34. I challenge you to war. <laughs> That's basically what they did, man. They're like, wait a minute, I posted the same video, but you got a million. It's all about your hashtags and, and, and tags within your video. Thumbnail and tags and title. Just gotta grab them. Sometimes I post a video and then I'll post the same style video and one will get a crazy amount of views and the other one won't, but it is what it is. Joshua Hager, I'll send those DG exclusives out to you soon. Still can't believe I found them at Myers. Yeah, that's crazy, man, but I appreciate you picking those up. I can't wait to finally have those because um, we haven't seen them here. Alan Gall, have you got the Mustang funny treasure hunt yet? No, I have not. Um, I only found five five H cases and that one was not one of them but I know my boy Derek found it of course he did I was like oh I need that one because it matches the same deco as the uh, off-road truck that came out in that same gray customizer says hashtag videos okay cool just taking notes yeah for sure every time you upload a video here are the main ones that I use and they really really help peg hunt or peg hunting um, hunting for die cast or hunting for Hot Wheels. Um, I put in Walmart exclusives, Hot Wheels, or Target Red Edition Hot Wheels. I'll put hashtags like that. Um, just think about the stuff that you would search for. Um, what's a super treasure hunt? Use that as a tag. What's a mainline versus whatever? Um, Hot Wheels Premium. Just use those type of hashtags and your views should be able to start catching up and racking up stuff. Uh, Christy says, do you have a Mustang? If so, can you show us? I do have one. It's in the garage. Daughter sleeping. Not going to walk around and go do it. Um, I've done it on a couple other videos and a live stream as well. Um, but if you want to check it out, it is on my second or third video ever posted. I do kind of like a little walkthrough of it, what's done to it. Um, but it's a 2005 GT, almost fully bolted, just doesn't have cams um, and heads. But it's got a lot of bolt-ons onto it. Rare Dotson, I have all the Dotson 510s. Yeah, I've seen your videos. Um, you have some crazy stuff in your collection, man. You need to start post posting some videos again. Um, Rapid says, short cards are the only things I have Mustang don't. That Mustang he doesn't have. Yeah, the Charlie's Angel little Mustang you got. Mustang Hunter, I should let you record my collection. Yeah, for sure, man. That'd be sweet. Jorge Delgado, any new Mustang or any new finds? Yeah, I only found five new cars, and then I refound uh, this car this morning. But I'll be posting that peg hunting video tonight. Uh, Ricky Bobby, how much horsepower in the Stang dynoed? Uh, dynoed at 323 to the wheels. Um, and just a little shy over 340 on torque, but nothing impressive. I mean, it's a 300 horsepower rated car. Um, originally put 278 at the wheels, and then, yeah, now it's pushing a little bit more. I like the one you did with the Cobra Custom. Yeah, for sure. Thank you so much. Honest says, it's a bougie Mustang. Looks like... Oh yeah, it looks like a tan art car Fox body. Yeah. Now you're talking about the talking about mine or you're talking about your treasure hunt. <laughs> Kingna says, me and the Mustang Hunter arm wrestling for the Bone Shaker live on pay-per-view. Oh yeah. We're gonna have this here, we're gonna have the red table, we're gonna have the bell, we're gonna have some announcers. We're gonna get that arm wrestling on. If you guys wanna see us arm wrestle for some bone shakers, let us know. Yeah, not bad for some bolt-ons. I mean, it's still the 4.6, 2005 with the five speed in it. Um, yeah, I wish I could put more power into it, but I don't want to throw so much money into it right, right now. But um, with the pulleys, the port and polish work, the tune, all the stuff with it, it's not bad. It's a fun daily. Keynet says, that'll be my title of my next video and I get a million views. And then we're gonna have some beef some beef meatloaf 
Canelo won yesterday. Nice. Good. Joshua Hager says, I should do more customs. They turn out good. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was going over that earlier. I'm going to be doing more of those uh, 55 gassers. Or more styles like this 55 gasser right here. Does it sound like it's underwater like all the Mustangs around here? <laughs> you sound, you mean like all gurgly and bubbly and all that? <laughs> Static, there you go. He's going to be the announcer. <laughs> YouTubers who use clickbait, no good. Yeah, I try to be as um, honest with my thumbnails as possible so I'll throw in a little tease of what what I got in the package or I'll highlight it or something but I'm never ever like check out this ultra super rare 55 gasser and then you click on it and it's this Audi and I'm like gotcha you know I'm not I, I'm not about that Borla um, I have a BBK cat back um, and then some axle back delete so I have no mufflers and just some high flow cats on mine, but it's loud. It's very loud. Clickbait is corny. I agree. I hate that. I absolutely hate that. My buddy has a 2020 C8 with a Corsa exhaust, which sounds louder than than an SVJ. Oh, Corsa alone is expensive, but Corsa has some really good sounding exhausts. Dotson man likes corn. Nice. He likes that corn fed stuff. Running that E83, I bet. Keenan says it's louder than his. It's louder, but it's not as fast as his. <laughs> what do you think of the 2000 Cobra R? I love it. It's a race car. It's built from factory with everything needed just to go fast. E85 says Dotson man my bad just a few ratings off it's alright my 68 Cougar had cherry bombs loud as hell oh yeah I had cherry bombs on it before but um, I got the oh, I can't remember which cherry bombs I got it did not sound good on it so I had to take those off Dotson wants to fight uh oh who's Dotson want to fight got pay per view over there I was watching Derek's live video yesterday again at the beginning where someone was whispering. Yeah, I think that was his daughter. His daughter was saying something about maybe it was another Hot Wheels video or something. Daughter or wife, one of them. His wife. Rapid says, no, you missed my rant paragraph. Oh, it looks like you're going to have to retype that one. <laughs> These comments are just coming so fast, man. Thumb war, bro. Got the most curviest and strongest thumb out here. It kind of hurts a little bit, but... Remember, over the top. You guys ever watch that movie, Over the Top? You got to get it. And then you just... Uh, that's what you get. What you get, Mark. You don't want to mess with the thumb. You thought the sleeves were bad. Wait till you get that thumb in there. Mm. <laughs> Brian just did a 426 Hemi swap in his dad's 2008 Challenger SRT pushing 650. Nice. A little Stallone. <laughs> yeah. I used to have Stallone eyes. Like if you look at my eyes, they're like very like emotionless. Sylvester Stallone's like that too. Sleeves evolved into thumbs. Hey, if you guys ever, if you ever want a funny, just a quick laugh, check out um, Bat Thumb, like B A T and then Thumb. Watch those videos. It is, I don't know what it is about it, but it is hilarious. They get real people's thumbs, but they like animate eyes and mouths on them, and they do like Batman stuff. It's Gotham, but it's Gotham. It's you gotta watch it. Because I sound stupid just explaining it. But you need to watch it.
Rapid said he typed it five times. <laughs> oh. Make a wrecked Mustang custom? Alright. I could do that. I can get some little people too. Have a little diorama of a crowd. Be an interesting one. <laughs> copy paste, bro. Oh, exactly. Rapid. Copy and paste, bro. <laughs> copy and paste is a thing. There, read that, he says. <laughs> oh, man, you guys crack me up. Uh, Oscar says, what are your thoughts on the future electric Mustang? I think it's uh, it's going to be the Pinto era all over again, except just faster. Frank Camacho, what's up, buddy? <laughs> yeah, crowd diorama. Kina says, heading over to my mom's house for some Mother's Day dinner. Text you later. You better go tell her to make that meatloaf. <laughs> Ma, the meatloaf. Got angry rapid. He's going rapid over here. He says, don't you dare miss that again. All right, let's see. Literally right there. I don't know what you're... <laughs> right there. I'm on phone. I read that. Dude, I'm going through the comments. I see... Not one. Th I typed it five times. All right, bear with me, guys. I'm gonna go all the way up to Rapids comment. All right, man. This must have been a long time ago, dude. Petition for Mustang to wrap Ruby in the art car's livery for a year. Oh, that's. I'm not even going to go read any more of that because if that was your comment, that is so bad. <laughs> the electric drag staying is faster than gas powered. Oh yeah, 100%. That's instantaneous torque. I mean, you're not going to beat a 3 second 0 to 60. I mean, that's fast for... A, and just imagine if they uh, put extra cells in there, battery cells. Plot twist, Rapid never typed it. <laughs> it's literally at 25 past. Well, that is way out there, man. <laughs> way up there. All right, let me see. All right, guys, bear with me. I'm going to scroll all the way. I'm going to go back in time real quick. Okay, it's past the bonnet. Hold on. I stopped watching Tokyo Drift. It has to be past that. It's Monday. Okay. Rapid, where's this long paragraph? Monday will feel when I wake up in the morning. Okay, here we go. It says, my deal with these special sets is why are we paying double, sometimes triple the cost of mainline for a special car? Okay, not that one. Maybe it is that one. Is that the one you were talking about? It's the paying all the money. Caddy's Rock. I don't know, man. That's all I got. <laughs> Old Man Diecast, what's up, buddy? Um, we are just um, witnessing Rapid becoming angry. He's getting, I don't know why I can't find that long paragraph. You said it was a long paragraph. All right, hold on. This camera's wiggling because I'm trying to scroll. I don't know, man. You're going to have to hit me up on DM. <laughs> Raging Rapid. Hey, that's his new name now. Raging, Raging Rapid. All right, he's about to summarize, guys. Hope your thumbs are ready to type out all of what you just said. Rapid probably is trolling. 
That's funny. Y'all guys are funny. All right, Rapid, you got like two minutes to retype this rant. Then I'm gonna call it. I gotta go pull some weeds. <laughs> Fun stuff right there. Hot Wheels or Matchbox? Who's killing it in the Mustangs now? Matchbox 100% is killing it. Old man says, I don't drink a bottle of water, I drink a jug of water. <laughs> yeah, I drink two of these a day. Uh, he's not so rapid now. Oh, okay, here we go. An Indian hit the Nismo, ruined the Nismo's forged rim and Nismo arch, then tried to flee after hitting us, forced it to stop Nismo is being taken from us tomorrow for the first time in five years. Oh, no. That's crazy, man. And <laughs> this may be a weird question, but you're talking about, like, an Indian or, like, the motorcycle brand Indian? Because a little iffy on that one. Some Indian just hit my car. <laughs> like me saying some Englishman hit my car oh man that sounds so bad when you read it like that <laughs> I don't know some Indian did it <laughs> oh man das racist says Devin <laughs> Either I lost brain cells reading that comment or what. Oh, man. I'm really... <laughs> What's in the box, says Kevin Cunts. Oh, man. <laughs> Bruce says he's, he's saying Tonto... <laughs> he said Tonto done ran his horses. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh that's so bad <laughs> oh, oh oh man <laughs> oh man <laughs> y'all guys are messed up Dave Shook says, well, isn't it a juke, Mike? <laughs> oh, man, you guys are so bad. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. My freaking head hurts. Oh, you know when you laugh so hard? Like, <laughs> oh, the Tonto comment, man. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Hope the horse is okay. <laughs> the juke didn't juke hard enough on that one. <laughs> oh, my face hurts. Oh, my face hurts. Oh, that's a good one. I don't know. It, isn't that racist blaming it on the Indian? Oh. Oh, that's so funny. Ah, oh, my cheeks hurt. You know that's a good laugh when you got freaking your face hurting everything. Rapid says, I swear I'm done with autocorrect. Never corrects actual error, but corrects corrects a correct word. <laughs> Old man says, should have zigged instead of zacked. <laughs> oh, the Indians are taking over the street. <laughs> oh, man. Taki, back to it. All right. So Taki says, how many of the Hot Wheels Editor Choice Mustangs do you have? I have the 5-0 carded with the new Edge card. Um, actually, I only have one of the 10-second car ones. Oh, man. I'm trying to get over that comment. Hewitt's. Where's Hewitt's at? Oh, man. I needed that right there. <laughs> Monster Jam says, you drinking out of a milk jug. What's wrong with you? No, that's actual water. Ugh. 
Stigmata found the Shelby Super. Nice. Rare dots in Indian. <laughs> Christy says, by the way, you started laughing so, so burst out laughing too. <laughs> oh, man. Hot Wheels needs to bring back the SN95 loves. Yes. The SN95s, like, um, you're talking about, like, the 99 to 04 SN95s or the uh, 99, 94 to 99, whichever it is. I think they should bring back a lot of them. Nobody like, nobody, what? Nobody likes the peace pipes here. <laughs> Serious question, is that cold water or warm water? It's like room temperature. Yeah, it's like room temp. It was cold, but I've been drinking it. And being out here, it's gotten warm. So, says Rapid, anyone having a fun time at a place watching something? Yes. <laughs> 94, 94 99 Yeah. Yeah, they definitely need to bring those older SN95s back. Frank says he will trade a Kane in Super for the Shelby Super. So if anyone's got that uh, Kane in, has anyone found an Indian Super? <laughs> I'm thinking of quitting mainlines and just going premium. What do you think? Um, if you're down to spend the money for premiums, I mean, that's all you, man, but... Uh, the main lines is where it's at. You get more bang for your buck. You get more customs out of it. The premiums are just kind of hit or miss sometimes. Mustang Hunter ready for the nasty heat coming soon. Yes, for sure. Especially because uh, being in the military, wearing that uniform, I have to wear long sleeves and pants all day. It gets hot. Especially here in the 120 degree weather. Um... But as much as I would love to continue laughing and having fun with you guys, the stream has been amazing and fun as always. Um, but Rapid, Rapid definitely brought the mood and just made that that segment just too much, man. That was funny. Um, but on a serious note, um, I hope everything is good with the Nismo. It's an awesome little juke. I like those cars. They're freaking sweet. But uh, hopefully everything works out. Sorry for all that inconvenience it had on you. Especially you, because you love that car a lot. Um, hopefully everything works out on a serious note, though. Um, hopefully the Indian was was fine. Um, <laughs> but seriously, though, hopefully everything works out good, man. I know how it is to have a car and then it gets taken away from you. It, it's not a good feeling at all. But um, Tom Crutchfield, what's up, buddy? Uh, I'm about to wrap this up. So everyone hopefully you guys enjoyed the live stream i appreciate all of you tuning in of course every sunday i try to tune in and make these streams at 2 p.m i know today was a little late but um <laughs> the comments just keep coming <laughs> indian was fine horse had to be put down though <laughs> anyways guys i appreciate all of you tuning in and of course um stay tuned for tonight's peg hunting video it's not crazy um, but it's just kind of give you an insight of what what this area has been looking like. It's not a it's not an eventful peg hunt, but of course you guys have been wanting peg hunting videos a little more. So stay tuned for that one tonight. And then of course that's all I got. So hopefully you all have a great rest of the day. If it's Monday for you, have a great Monday, the first day of the week. Hopefully it works out great. Um, and yeah, that is all I got. Rapid says none of you commented Indian on any of my videos, please. <laughs> But yeah, um, you know, Rapid, that's going to be the, the joke from here on out is all about the Indians now. So you got the Rapid, you got the Rapid Indians, Rapid Indians. But again, appreciate all of you. Stay safe. And of course, until next time, guys, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.